What's up, folks? It's Josh back here from Inside Wrestling Truth. Uh, I just want to stop in. I don't want to take up too much of y'all's y'all's time today. Uh, I just want to stop in, you know, make this quick video. Um, as many of y'all know, I'm an old school pro wrestling fan. The old school 80s, 90s deal. Uh, and yesterday, one of the greatest of all time, Bobby the Brain Heenan, passed away. Uh, just want to talk about that for a second, you know. Um... In my opinion, Bobby Heenan is single-handedly the greatest manager of all time. Uh, he died today, or actually yesterday, I believe at the age of 72. You know, he had been battling some type of uh, throat cancer for years. Uh, I got to meet Bobby Heenan, shit, I guess it was about four years ago. It was like four years ago I met Bobby Heenan up in, uh, way up in Fort Wayne, Indiana. Um, you couldn't really talk, of course, uh, with Luke Barrett, didn't look, even look like the same person. But, uh, yeah, just blessed that I got the opportunity to meet him, you know, just being a fan of pro wrestling, uh, in my opinion. He was, uh, the greatest manager of all time. You know, as a kid, I would hate him. Uh, he would get on my nerves. But that was his job, you know, being a bad guy, he'll, uh, but later on, as I got older, I really realized that I appreciated uh, dude's work. You know what I'm saying? And became a fan. Uh, just became a fan of Bobby Heenan. Uh, he would later go on to be a leave WWF at the time uh, and go on to WCW to be just commentator. He uh, stopped being a manager or whatever. Uh, I thought it would have been I always wanted like. If I could see Bobby Heenan do one thing back in the day that he didn't, uh, I thought it would have been cool to see Bobby Heenan in the original NWO. Uh, you know, because of all the years in the WWF of Heenan and Hogan hating each other, I thought it would have been cool to see Heenan in the NWO. I thought it would have been something interesting, at least. Uh, but yeah, man, big fan of Bobby Heenan. Uh, fuck. So much, he did so much for, uh, the business and the fans and just everything that made pro wrestling special back then. Uh, you know, everybody knows me, I hate the new shit, but Bobby Heenan, definitely one of the greatest of all time. Um, whether it was managing Andre and the Heenan family, uh, guys that couldn't talk, you know, couldn't cut a promo, he pretty much talked for. He always put his thumbprint on the match that he was in. Uh, and usually he was a difference maker in that match. Um, a lot of you guys love Ross and Lawler or Monsoon and Heenan. Those are my favorite. Those are my favorite uh, announcers as a group. I just love them. Uh, whenever you hear them announcing... You know, when if you grew up in my era and you hear them announcing, it's just like, it's just classic, man. The Heenan and uh, Monsoon. But yeah, man, Bobby Heenan, definitely one of the major players uh, of my childhood being a wrestling fan. And uh, like I said, he passed away, I believe he was 72, 72 years old. Just glad dudes not in pain no more. Uh, but definitely a legend. But shit, it is what it is, man. But shit, rest in peace to Bobby the Brain Heenan. It is what it is. Uh, really have much here. Just wanted to share a few thoughts on Bobby Heenan with you. Uh, but uh, if you're a new school fan and you watch wrestling and you're watching this video right now, uh, definitely go look up Bobby the Brain Heenan. You definitely won't be disappointed. You'll be fully entertained. Because uh, he was a great one. But uh, I'm out. Y'all take care of each other. And once again, rest in peace to Bobby Heenan. Uh, stay tuned, man. I'll be seeing you guys here in a few days. Peace.